Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, growing up, did you have that one friend? You know the one I'm talking about, the one that always got you in trouble, the one who had the perpetually bad ideas that somehow they sold you on, you know, the one that encouraged you to rebel. Just, and if you didn't have that friend, by the way, it might have been you. Just saying. See, you probably discovered, if you had that friend, that one day that life was better when that friend wasn't around. Well, the Apostle Paul kind of talks about that friend or that type of person in Romans chapter 16, verse 17, when he says, I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. For such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and by smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive. See, Paul warns us about people that cause divisions, that create obstacles to truth and create disunity. And the reality is God wants us to be unified in love, in faith, and in purpose. Yeah, that's why here at Calvary we talk about our mission of leading people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. That's what unifies us. That and our love for Christ and our love for his people. So Jesus prayed for our unity in the garden when he said, Father, make them one as you and I are one so the world can see them and know that you sent me. In other words, Jesus' identity is connected to our unity as the people of God. The Apostle Paul preached it regularly, talking about the body of Christ being made up of many members and yet was one. So we're connected. And so scripture warns us about people who create divisions, about people who cause disunity, about people who uh, really break us apart. In fact, it warns us about hanging out with them. In, in Proverbs 13, the writer says, uh, the one who walks with the wise becomes wise but the companion of fools suffers harm. Uh, the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 said, do not be deceived, bad company corrupts good morals. So if you desire a peaceful and joyful life and you don't have it, you might wanna check your friends. It's possible that they're not helping you to walk with the wise. It's just a thought and that's your word for the day. I pray it blesses you. Have a great day.